everybody welcome back to another video this one is super exciting because i am collabing with um, a couple awesome youtubers on here myself cat shauna and taylor um we all decided to do a potluck collab because y'all know this season um you go to a lot of family stuff um and everybody brings guts to bring something so there's a big variety of potluck dishes this is an open collab so there will be um other youtubers as well so don't forget that i will have the link um to um everybody's channel the ones i t just said um cat from southern southern farm and kitchen taylor from taylor elmore shauna from miss dickinson 1910 and then myself um but I'll have my other ladies linked in the description box as well as the playlist link um, that you can see everybody's potluck dish. Um, this what this collab was um, kind of in, it was inspiration by one of um, Cat's YouTuber or Cat subscribers, uh, Jennifer. She um, asked in one of her videos if uh, if cat could do a potluck dish so we all got together and we decided to do a bunch of different dishes um so i hope you all enjoy um this type of collab um potluck style potluck is like a wide variety of things this was actually really hard for me to pick um because potluck is such an open you know variety of dishes you can bring anything crock pot casseroles anything so i went with a cake um i chose um a caramel pumpkin poke cake um really good pumpkins always great in this season um and it's super easy so if i mainly keep these ingredients in the house um during this season so if i do need to make it i can just get everything out of the pantry pop it together it takes no time and it's really easy um i did say in while i was going through and showing you all everything um you can use a foil pan um, i just use a regular pan this time a regular casserole dish but throw that baby in a foil pan and you can take it to wherever don't have to worry about having to find your pan um and then the topping um the recipe the recipe from Pinterest will be linked by itself um, in the description box. I'll just link that one recipe so it's easier for y'all to find, um, but it will be in the description box and it tells you how to make it. Um, y'all will also be seeing me, um, seeing me put it together, but the recipe called for those um, toffee bits that you can find in the baking section. I'm not a huge fan of those, so I did not buy those, but of course you can. And you can also change up the toppings. Um, you could put some pecans on there, um, do the toffee bits. You could, they make cinnamon chips now, so you could throw some cinnamon chips on there. You can kind of do whatever topping you want. Um, y'all will see what I decided. Um, I kept it super simple, but y'all will see that towards the end. But I do hope you enjoy this video, and it's something that you would like, um, us to do maybe a couple videos on uh let us know because like i said everybody is going to be potlucking <laughs> potlucking soon with um thanksgiving and christmas and everything that's just always everybody just gets together and brings a dish um so if it's something that you would be interested um in doing a couple more videos drop a comment down below and also if you have your favorite go-to potluck dish leave a link to the recipe or leave just what you make drop it in the comments because i would love to know uh, i am always looking for new dishes to take places but desserts are mainly my go-to but i would love if you all would share that with me um as long as, as well as everybody else that um will be down in the comments but i hope you enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get into it So there's only a couple ingredients to this cake. That's one of the reasons why I love it. And it's delicious and it's pumpkin. I love everything pumpkin. So all you need is a spice cake mix, whatever brand you want. 
a can of pumpkin puree not um, like the pumpkin pie you just want the pumpkin puree you need a fourth a cup of water you need spray to spray your pan you need some caramel three eggs and then you need a container of Cool Whip. So let's go ahead and get this mixed together and get it in the oven. Okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna mix together the cake mix. And the link that will be in the description box for this, um, what I went by for this recipe, um, you do not go by what the box says. Um, you add in the water and you add in the eggs it says on the recipe and then you'll add in your pumpkin so you don't worry about adding in the oil Then you're gonna add in your fourth a cup of water. And I'm gonna stir that a little bit. And then I'll add in the eggs. I'm always the one that brings the dessert um, to any potluck um, party, anything like that. Um, that's just me and if I ask like hey what do you want me to bring they always say bring a dessert so desserts are always my go-to um, for parties and potlucks um, so this is a perfect one for fall and then now you're gonna add in your three eggs If you're going somewhere um, that you don't want to worry about um, getting your dish back, of course, just throw this in a um, foil pan and bake it. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in my casserole dish because it's going to family. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that your eggs are in there. I love pumpkin. So all you're going to do is you're going to add the cake mix in here. And then we're going to let it bake. I have the oven preheating at 350. It's probably going to take 20 to 25 minutes. You just want to make sure that it is completely done. can take a toothpick and um, poke the center and see if it comes out clean or what I always do is I just take and push um, push on the top and if it bounces back up then you know it's done if not um, if it kind of sinks in then you know it still needs to bake some more get this batter on here we don't want to waste none of it Okay. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna pop it in the oven. Okay, I just pulled it out of the oven. See, it pops right up. So that means it's done. Sorry, I'm in the process of putting nails on. <laughs> but it's done, I'm gonna let it cool a little bit. And then we're gonna take a wooden spoon and we are going to poke holes all in it. And then we're going to cover it with some yummy caramel. Okay, it's still a little warm, not completely cool. But you're gonna take and you're gonna press down and make holes in the cake. This way the caramel is gonna be able to soak down in the cake. Almost. Okay, now that you've got all the holes, you're gonna pour this caramel sauce. And it's gonna soak down in. And it's gonna be delicious. Okay, so I used the whole thing, and that is 14 ounces. So we're just gonna let that sit, let it soak in, let it completely cool, and then we are going to put the whipped topping on, and then we will put the topping toppings on top of that. Now it is completely cooled, so I'm just gonna add the Cool Whip on top. I'm gonna do just Cool Whip. Um, another mixture you could do is you could take um, a softened block of cream cheese and mix it together with the Cool Whip with some powdered sugar. You could do that and put on here, but I'm just going to do the Cool Whip. Now the recipe that um, I said I was going by called for those, um, the taffy bits that you can get in the baking section. I'm not a fan of those. So I did not go and get any. I'm just going to sprinkle on some um, cinnamon. I'm gonna sprinkle on some cinnamon sugar and call it it. Cause like I said, I'm just not a fan of those, those toffee pieces. But I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, so I've just got it covered, and I already have a little thing of the cinnamon sugar that I keep mixed up over here Oops. on the counter. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. Yum. So there you go. Sprinkled it on top. Y'all, it looks so good. So we're gonna have some, I'm sharing it with family. What We're gonna have some after dinner. So we will let you know what we think. But I love anything pumpkin and y'all look at this. Look at all, the caramel has all like soaked in. You can see it. Oh. 
I don't know if I can wait till after dinner.